Today we are learning synthesis of carbaryl which is also called as savin under the green chemistry principle safer solvents and auxiliaries and the second principle is safer chemistry for accident prevention. However there are many principles of green chemistry which can be covered in the example of synthesis of carbaryl. Green chemistry is the design of chemical products and processes that reduce or eliminate the generation of hazardous substances. The principles covered are safer solvents and auxiliaries and second is safer chemistry for accident prevention. According to this principle, the chemical product should be designed in such a way that they have high efficiency and low toxicity. One way to minimize the potential for chemical accidents is to choose reagents and solvents that minimize the potential for explosion, fire and accidental release. We are taking the example of synthesis of carbaryl which is also called as savin. This is the structure of savin. Carbaryl is used as an insecticide. It is a white crystalline solid commonly sold under the brand name savin. This process was carried out in Bhopal by Union Carbide where leakage of methyl isocyanate mishap took place in 1984 commonly known as Bhopal gas tragedy. Let us study conventional route. In the conventional route, phosgen is used as a starting material. It is treated with methyl amine. Lone pair on the nitrogen attacks on the carbon of the carbonyl group. Chlorine being weak ligand, it is released. Now this negatively charged chlorine atom attacks on the hydrogen and again the lone pair of the electrons are retained on the nitrogen atom. This is how HCl is eliminated and we get MCC. It is also known as methyl carbamoyl chloride. Now this MCC again undergoes rearrangement. The lone pair on the nitrogen attacks on the carbon. Cl- is eliminated. This negatively charged chlorine attacks on the hydrogen and lone pair of the nitrogen are again retained. HCl is eliminated and we get methyl isocyanate. So this was the gas which was responsible for the Bhopal gas tragedy. This methyl isocyanate is treated with one naphthol. Electrons on the oxygen attacks on the carbon which is positively charged. The electron comes on the nitrogen. This negatively charged nitrogen abstracts the hydrogen atom. The lone pair of oxygen are retained. This is how we get the final product known as carbaryl or savin. Now we move to the greener route. In the greener route, one naphthol is treated first with the phosgen. The lone pair on the oxygen attacks on the positively charged carbon. The Cl- is released. Now this negatively charged chlorine attacks on the hydrogen and the lone pair on the oxygen is retained. This is how HCl is eliminated and we get the product. Now this is treated with methylamine. The lone pair on the nitrogen attacks on the carbon. Chlorine minus is eliminated. Negatively charged chlorine attacks on the hydrogen and the lone pair of nitrogen is retained. HCl is eliminated to get the final product that is carbaryl. Now as we can see greener root synthesis also uses exactly the same reagents but these are taken in different sequence. Hence this synthesis avoids the preparation of methyl isocyanate which was responsible for Bhopal gas tragedy. But the use of phosgene and methylamine is still needs to be avoided. Thanks for watching. If you like, click subscribe for more such videos.